walks with me in this fallow field. Peppers and crows retrieve the wild within the space of physical sight. The surface one starts on. The frame of human presence that once created gardens hides in the finite remains of concrete. A landscape of witness. A voice comes, recedes, and disappears. Perhaps I can chance its reappearance. Why do I come here? Amache, Indian princess of the Great Plains, the aquifers cracked, the air dried out, and the soil rose in the clouds falling like rain. Amache, human beings categorize nature, turn sea into tyranny. I'm not sure the tree that catches my eye, but I hear Katapa. Does it find its form, or is it empty of it? Naming can build walls. Calling people names defines identity, denies the other that is within. Over trails of sweated labor, grasslands of brown thasher and lark bunty, a solitary trucker high gears it towards Kansas, a highway frontier of transcendental drift, a marketplace of products. Amache, what is untold sidles its own becoming? I am entering this forgotten city where perhaps the earth will speak. For our living is the common thread. The silence resembles the escape of the wind-born Catawba, points to the threshing of cantaloupe, spinach, watermelon, by the hands of immigrants who skirted the edges of this camp, tied memory into a knot of produce. How fertile the compost of memory. Back then we were called Japs, yellow devils, taken from the cool downwinds of Pacific air, taken from homes coming down from orange and blood skies into custody, hands gripping suitcases. So many places that no idea came to be the expanse of the face of nature, the face of the universe, an infinite within, and then the eye of a lens where in a shudder the breath expires. Amache, I mother to no one. Where's the threatened face for the jailers, barbed wire fences, towers, soil become remnants. We boarded transports. The measured traces of the rail bed syncopated our journey, backtracking along the paths of immigrants, the trails of the Indians, changing lives, precarious lives in a stateless state of exception. In the crackling heat of August, I again see a young woman grasp a letter outside the post office. Boys play touch football, watch towers in the background. An elderly man at the table with a cup of tea looks up, offers a wildflower to his grandson, and the boy smiles. He is a walk in the now where the past and future meet. So to simply be without fear in this experience of loss determines my love for what I have yet to hold. Perhaps this moment occupies the words. Perhaps I am here to understand that the world is saturated with being a frenzied body. Perhaps in the absence of place of foregoing a pleasure, the seed that does not take root becomes a field of relics. The hearing of the land itself waits on unfinished surfaces. If I were only to love this world, but here in the presence of the no more, underfoot in the presence of the not yet, I cannot really measure the ground of battered markers. There are narratives inside these frames, often in opposition, faces that erase the memory of love. The distortion of a face is the messenger for the original face and the unkillable human core. Even when burned into a concrete wall, evaporated in the moment when struck, mere flames cannot destroy the human eyes of the fishes, the unkillable human does not border on fiction.
Amache, it is something otherwise, something other than being here, something that runs against borders beyond color lines. And to the